Final Fantasy TCG is an amazing game with a wide variety of choices when it comes to deck building, which can be exhausting for newer players to understand who are just walking into the game, unless you already know where to start. We're taking this challenge once again, starting from nothing and building our way up to the top with our weekly budget, relying only on sealed products and prizing earned along the way. This means buying singles and trading are off the table. Join me once again, where we take a couple of starter decks and turn it into a powerhouse over time. You're watching Final Fantasy TCG. New Game Plus, a series reborn. Welcome to another episode of Final Fantasy TCG, New Game Plus, a series reborn. This is your host, TCG Tacos, and a quick recap on last episode. We ended up making top four, uh, which earned us surprising, uh, which we opened on stream, and we finally got the last unit promo that we were missing. I was really pleased with how the deck performed, however, since we only got to play two decks, uh, wasn't really enough testing, so hopefully we'll be able to do some more this week. We're also going to be opening up half a box of Opus 12, so hopefully we pull something that we can use and add to the deck. On to the pack openings. So, I managed to pick up this box for $90. Uh, to keep in budget, we are only opening half of it, uh, since $45 is our weekly budget. I'm just taking out the packs here, it should be 18 packs total. So, first pack. As always, we're just going to be skipping through the commons. Foils a Samurai, Soldiers are H. Next pack. Darl and a knot. Third pack. Oh, a foil of Celtius and a Sid Previa. Next pack. Will Alexander and Emmett Sulch. So four packs, on to the fifth one. Okay, uh, we got ourselves a lock here. Six pack. Ninja and Marisa. Seventh pack. Foil Moogle and another Emmett Sulch. Our eighth pack now. Ooh, Foil Emperor and another Sid Previa. Pack, almost halfway there. Ourselves a foil, a uh, gipple, and a fenrir. Tenth pack, a uh, foil diabolus with a non foil right behind it. Eleventh pack. Mitishan and Torto, I think. Foil Vane, the Gacha Queen. Next pack. A Full Dragoon and a Beatrix, which is pretty nice. It's gonna go uh, for our Knight's deck when we get to that point. Up another pack. Another foil Althea and a mid Previa. We got a few 
few packs left. Foils of Galoof and an Eshendaro. Foil Freya and an Amaterasu. Two packs left. We haven't really seen too many owls, have we? Foil Aegis and a Carbuncle. And our last pack. Is that a Foil Realm uh, and a Lonnie. Alright, looking at these, there's really no changes to be made to the deck, so we're just going to go straight to Locals. Round one, we're up against John, who is playing Monks today. Uh, he ends up winning the die roll and chooses to go first. Starts things off by paying two for a monk backup, pass to us. End up paying for Louis Swa, searching out Alice and pass to John. Pays two to play monk backup. Paying two for another monk back up and pass back to us. Paying two for Orienter. Getting Alice back and discarding two for Alice and passing. And so paying five for Tyro, getting Ekbranth. Pass to us. Paying three for Crystal Exarch. Swinging with Orianger, hitting an Ursula. Pass back to John. Pays four to play Gabranth, searching out Mott. Passes to us. Paying six for Ishtola. That chooses to Miss Dragon our break zone. And he draws one. Swing in with the Orienter, hitting Titan, and hits the Crystal Egg Sark, and we swing in with the Stola, and just pass to John. Paying 6 for Mott, getting back Yang, swings in with Cabranth, hitting Midphilia, and getting Peplimo to hand. Passes back to us. Paying three for the Paplimo, searching out Ida. And then we pay another two for the Ida. Swing in first with Ida, breaking the Gabranth, hitting a monk back up. And we swing in with the Shtola. Trades with Mott. Oranger goes in next, hits the Tyro. Chooses to get Sophie, and we swing in with the Papalimo, hitting his second Ursula, and we pass over. Pace 3 for Yang, searching out Mott, and getting the last Ursula to hand. And then he pays 4, put Ursula into play, and getting back Sophie. And sends a monk back up. Papalimo, another one for the Orianger, and the last monk back up for Ida. Passes to us. Well, need to hit with the Sophie trigger, and we play Orianger, get Louis Swat a hand, and we just pass back to John. Base two for another monk pack up and wool. Uh, chooses uh, no ex and pumping the Ursula. So he's going to kill our Oriental response. We'll try to break the Yang. He pumps it. And swings Ramo. 
um, Amphilia, but at this point it's irrelevant. I just search out the Ishtola. Swings in again. And we take the last point of damage off the Sophie trigger. That's game one, and we move on to round two. Round two, we're up against Richard, who's on Earth Lightning Final Fantasy 15. Uh, he wants to die roll and chooses to go first. Starts things off by paying four for minor, getting back Lil, and passes back over to us. I discard a crow for a crow, we pass back to Rich. Paying three for crow, and passes back to us. Paying three for Luiswa, searching out Alice. And then we pay six for Minfilia, getting back Orianger and Alice. We pass back to Rich. Paying five for Ignis, searching out Noctis. And then paying three for Noctis, getting back Gladiolus. And then pays two for Gladiolus and passes back to us. Paying four for Thancred, then three for Oracle of Light. Pass over to Rich. Paying four for Minor, getting back Cindy. Pass back to us. Pay four for the Louis triggering the Thancred. Ingrid comes in, with brave. Let me just pass back over to Rich. Paying two for Alba, choosing to remove the Menphilia from the break zone, and it just passes back to us. Paying three for Papalimo, searching out Ida, triggers the Thancred where we swing in. And we just pass back to Rich. Paying six for Cindy. Searches out Nyx and Regis. And passes back to us. Paying four for Ramu. Uh, getting rid of the Ignis. And paying two for Ida, triggering the Thancred. Swing again, Brave. And then we swing in with the Ida. Main two. We'll Hecaton on the Noctis. We're preventing him from giving haste to his forwards the following turn. And we pass back to Rich. Paying four for Nyx. Sending the Crow to break our Ida. Chooses to get back Noctis. And then with the effect of uh, Nyx, he dulls the Thancred. Base 4 for Fenrir with the kicker to remove our Oracle of Light. No benefit from that. Swings in with the Alba. Selects Ida, removing it from play. Take the damage. Hit Nervilia. Get back Ishtola. That passes back to us. Paying 6 for Ishtola. Choosing Orienter. Getting back Ida. That triggers the Thancred. We swing in. And with that, we just pass back to Rich. Base 3 for Noctis. Getting back Aranea. And just passes back to us. Paying two for Ida, triggering the Thancred. And another two for Alba, removing Titan from play. Enter battle, swing in with the Thancred. And we swing in with Ida. Jumps with Alba. And we swing in with our Alba, removing his Alba from play. Blocks with 
Gladiolus. Uh, we attempt to reduce power by 7 with Ramo. Responds with a Mist Dragon, cancelling the effect. So we lose our Alba. And we just pass from there. Uh, Rich has no play, passes back to us. Swing in with Ida. Jumps with Noctis. Party attack with Papalimo and Ishtola. Just to block with Gladiolus. Responds by breaking Cindy. And attempting to get pumped to the 15 forwards. No respond by Thancred specialing on Nyx. He allows it to pass. As that resolves, cast Titan. Targets Ida uh, to deal damage. And because of that, it becomes big enough to take all the damage from the forwards. A swing of the or Orianger, causing him to block and pass over to Rich. Uh, cast Kusith, getting back Gladiolus, and pays the remaining from his hand to cast the Gladiolus, and passes back to us. Paying 6 for Stola, getting Papalimo, getting Ida, and with our last, uh, we pay for Ida, triggering. Swing in with the thank grid, and that's the game. And we'll move on to the final round. For the last round, there's no footage, uh, but according to the sheet here, we actually took the loss. Uh, I do recall that it was a mirror match, and it was awkward for us. We didn't end up finding any lightning backups, uh, so we primarily just stuck on Earth, which made it very awkward to pay for lightning CP. So. Uh, it was a qu close game. Uh, we ended up losing to Miguel, and that about wraps up the tournament for that day. Uh, we ended up going 1-2. Uh, going 1-2 in this event, we notice a few things with our deck uh, that we'd like to change. Uh, first being trying to find ways to color fix. Uh, outside of Louis Wall, there's really no way to search for other backups. Uh, which I'm not really sure there is a way to to do that. Uh, I mean, I guess we could get Tyros and search out other colors, but we don't have access to that yet. Uh, we have to find Opus 11, and uh, it's a bit pricey at the moment. And then our other issue is the removal that we have is, is situational at best and overcosted. You know, a lot of them are like four to you know to six CP, which is just a bit too much. Um, it feels like our forwards were pretty much just swinging over um, and not really dealing with the situation at hand. Uh, sure, they get punished with EXs, but I mean, we're not always going to hit EX. So that's just something to take a look at. Um, we'll be taking a bit of a break from the Scion deck the following week since it is the release of Opus 13. Uh, so we'll be doing Sealed. And then the week after, we have. Uh, the reunion tournament. So I get to uh, we got like two weeks to adjust the Scion deck uh, for that event. So hopefully we can find some removal in the coming days, and you know hopefully we we do okay. So that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Uh, please feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe. And, uh, you know, share with your friends. We'll see you on the next episode.